All right, so I was going to uh, tag this onto my tattoo vlog, but nah. This is going to need a video of its own because we need to talk about this shit. Uh, you see the title. You see there's going to be spoils in this. And really, uh, at least for what I have planned, I mean, I'm just kind of, you know, going train of thought on this. But really, I hardly even see what I'm doing as being a review. So much as uh, discussion slash reaction, but... Uh, yeah, holy shit, man, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. For some reason, I keep on wanting to call it Far From Home, even though that was the previous movie. I'm just not quite used to the title, even though I've known the title for a long time. I keep on catching myself referring it to as, referring to it as Far From Home. So, if I slip up on that, you know, don't kill me over it. But, yeah, either way, Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home. Holy hell, guys, uh, but, yeah, uh... I'm surprised that pretty much every uh, rumor regarding that movie was correct. I mean, there was a few kind of somewhat more iffy things. Like, you know, we still haven't seen an another Vulture appearance since uh, Homecoming, the first uh, MCU Spider-Man movie, even though there's been perpetual rumors. There hasn't been any Scorpion appearances. We've got the normal name since we haven't actually seen him as scorpion but you know he's the guy talking to uh vulture in the prison I believe is in a post christ scene it may have been tagged on to the end of the movie i can't remember but he was in homecoming too we still haven't actually seen him as scorpion but it's been at least implied that something is going on with him uh so we haven't seen that you know the venom uh cameo is just kind of a small post credit scene, which is about what I was expecting, but, uh, everything else, like, I'll say, uh, one particularly minor, fairly minor, uh, rumor that there was about it was, uh, the Charlie Cox as, uh, uh, Daredevil or, uh, Matt Murdock, his cameo, like, you know, I, I wasn't really expect like, you know, I've heard the rumors. I definitely wasn't expecting them to be true, though, just because, you know, it would have been cool. But I didn't really feel like something like that would have really added anything to the story. And sure enough, you know, it's true. And, you know, like I said, it was cool, but it didn't really add anything to the story other than, you know, us just letting us know that uh, Daredevil is out there in the Marvel Cinematic Universe officially now. Uh, so... I'm sure something is going to happen soonish within the foreseeable future involving him. Uh, the big rumor I've been hearing is that Daredevil is going to be in the upcoming Echo Net, uh, Disney Plus series. Uh, but I think it's going to be really easy to uh, put some more uh, uh, Matt Murdock, not necessarily Daredevil, but Matt Murdock in uh, the upcoming She-Hulk series, which is coming up. Fairly soon, I think sometime in 2022, uh, but yeah, I think it'd be good to make him, like, a reoccurring character for that, like, you know, maybe two or three episodes he'll be featured in. I don't think we need to see Daredevil in that, though, but that's my theory, at least, uh, and, of course, the big stuff was, uh, uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, uh, yeah, uh, I was semi-expecting it. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't have been too shocked. I'd say I would have been more shocked if they weren't in it than if they were in it. Uh, but, you know, fairly balanced ratio, I would say, as far as my expectations for all. You know, big uh, fan service -y things like that. I try not to build up too much expectation for it, is what I'm trying to say. Just because, you know, I feel like it's preparing yourself for disappointment, so... My theory regarding their appearance was they're going to appear, like, towards the very end of it, like that uh, scene that was in all the trailers when uh, Doctor Strange says that, like, he can't hold everything back any longer, you know, something to that effect, you know. I was expecting that to be when they were going to appear, you, you know, like I said, very last minute, you know, save the day at the very last minute, uh, just when, you know, all hell is about to break loose, uh... But I wasn't actually expecting, like, you know, them to actually physically appear. Like, you know, I, I felt like it would have been really easy just to get, like, you know, body doubles, you know, be cheap about it, having them never take their mask off, having them never speak, just, you know, kind of uh, 
all of a sudden appear and, you know, help Spider-Man out during those uh, last few moments. But, no, they're actually in there for about the last one-third of the film. And, you know, obviously, like, you know, the actual actors are there. Uh, Tobey Maguire is my favorite Spider-Man. Uh, and, yeah, he's definitely aged, which, I mean, I kind of feel like he should have. But uh, it wasn't quite the same, I felt, as, you know, his uh, presence in that original Spider-Man trilogy uh Probably the main thing that changed that, you know, I felt like wasn't quite as effective in this movie as it was, you know, in his previous movies was his voice. Like, you know, his voice is definitely aged, and, you know, I mean, there's just something about his voice. Like, you know, I've always felt like, you know, really, it really captures the emotion, I think, of Spider-Man. And, you know, you know he, he's older now. He doesn't quite have his same voice anymore. But, you know, that's, I, I still thought it was exciting, you know, that he returned for it. So, that's all good. Uh, I kind of feel like they've kind of opened the door for further p- appearances. Like, you know, I know it might be a stretch, but, I mean, I kind of feel like there is a chance they could, like, you know, actually continue those previous Spider-Man series now. It wouldn't be too strange or confusing, you know, having the uh, current... MCU Spider-Man going as well. I don't know. That's probably too optimistic. But, I mean, I I definitely think it's something that's possible that they could do. Uh, I mean, hell, DC seems to be doing that with Batman. But, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, in the very end of it, like, you know, that got me pretty hyped, too. I love the look of that final Spider-Man costume. Like, you know, very classic comic book-looking and yeah, probably one of my biggest criticisms just in general of the MCU Spider-Man is that, like, I feel like he's he was too powerful, things are, like, too easy for him with all that Stark tech available to him. So, you know, I think stripping it away from him like that, you know, it's definitely opening the doors for, you know, good uh, direction for him to go. I don't know how long they're going to keep that sort of thing going up, but I definitely feel like whatever the next Spider-Man movie is going to be, I feel like it has the potential to be even better than this one was. I think this is my new favorite Spider-Man movie, my previous favorite Spider-Man 2, the uh, Tobey Maguire one. Uh, But yeah, uh, there was one thing that confused me, though. Uh, So at the end when uh, uh, Peter Parker and uh, Happy Hogan are at the, uh, grave, uh, and they, uh, ask how they knew, uh, May Parker, uh, they both say through Spider-Man, and that kind of confused me, because, like, you know, Happy Hogan didn't remember Peter Parker Spider-Man, and, you know, how did he know him, you know, like, how was he able to, you know, make the connection between him and May Parker, and not him and Peter Parker, That kind of threw me off. I mean, if anybody else kind of understands that, I'm sure somebody who's, uh, you know, better at these things than I am knows something. I'll probably watch an Emergency Awesome video. He's, like, the main channel that I watch for, you know, all these comic movies and Star Wars and shit like that. But, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that's my reaction to uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I didn't catch myself, uh, actually, no, (laughs) I just did catch myself calling it far from home, no way home, damn it, but yeah, that's my, uh, thoughts on reaction to it.